There's this term in sports, generational talent. It describes an athlete who has appeal beyond his sport, someone magnetic, someone who can captivate an audience on and off the court, in and out of the ring. When I look at Johan Ghazali, that's what I see, generational talent. I see someone who has the potential to become one of the biggest Muay Thai stars in the world. Ghazali's father is Malay and his mother is American, so he brings together East and West. He is a very marketable star at just 18 years old. But it's not just Johan's handsome looks or his age that have propelled him to stardom. Young Ghazali is truly skilled in the art of eight limbs. Let's take a look. Ghazali's first match in one was remarkable because he got a 16-second knockout against a very experienced opponent. In his second match, he also got a knockout against an opponent who was taunting him. He also called for a one contract. So my next target is to get that contract. That's what I want. I feel like the one championship belt is bound for me. I'm the future, come on. And in his third match, he got a new pair of sunglasses. In his fourth match in one, he would face Temerlin Bekmurzaev, a very tough opponent from Team Medizatu. And after knocking out Bekmurzaev with a liver shot, This would happen. Hey man, you know, it has been your dream. I tell you what, Chantry sit your tongue has just awarded you with the hundred thousand dollar contract. Welcome to one championship. And you can see the how long you like how long. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. I turn 17 next month. I guess I have a one championship contract before I even have my driver's license. So this is crazy, bro, this is crazy. Ghazali would then fight at his first fight night against Mexican Edgar Tabarez. This time, he would get a 36 second knockout in round one. At his first real pay-per-view event, 167, 
Ghazali would face the number one Muay Thai fighter from Vietnam, Nguyen Tran Duy Nat, a fighter twice his age. Ultimately, Nguyen Tran Duy Nat would get the win, showing maturity and patience in the ring. But Ghazali would make his comeback at his next pay-per-view at 1168 in Denver, where he would secure a very last second knockout in round one. from across the globe in Colombia. A highly energetic, very entertaining, and very dangerous Muay Thai fighter is emerging on the scene. Johan Estupinan, an undefeated Muay Thai and MMA fighter from Colombia, is making waves in one championship. With four victories, three of them by knockout, Estupinan has proved himself very dangerous. He fights with the support of his twin brother. And in January, these two young men will finally meet in the ring. Who will win? Leave a comment down below.